fair sideshow, mate, isn't it? Certainly is, mate, yeah. I'm lost for words. Well, it's different for all of us, Jason. I, we started televising the Brownlow medal in 1970. I think you're the first person to have won the Brownlow, not to have been in the room. So it is, it's a point of difference tonight. And Boy, what a week you've got in front of you. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, obviously, uh, like I said before, um, obviously, as a footballer, you want to be playing what's going to happen on Saturday. And, you know, obviously, something like this, you certainly don't expect. And um, what can I say? Uh, it's uh, as, as an individual um, player, sometimes you just get a, a bonus like this and, hey, I'll take them. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Jason, it's, uh, I think it's, it's Kevin looking on. I just wonder what she's just thinking right now. Um, Lee would know, that's for sure. Um, it's been hard for Andrew McLeod over the last half an hour in here. What about for you up there at the Gabba tonight? What, what's it been like in that room? Oh, it's been a bit of fun, as you can see and hear. There's a few people in here, and certainly from um, the Brisbane public. I've been here for probably 15 years and had to sort of see the game grow and see how sort of what we've had to go through and certainly the club being here for maybe seven years um, certainly to see the lines as you see on the weekend just really good crowds and the way it's built up over the um, the time here I'm just really proud to be part of it right now and certainly um, all the crap I used to cop at school and things like this it's uh, <laughs> I got a smile on the other side of my face so Jason what a team too I mean your other midfielders Michael Voss and Nigel Lappin and Simon Blank Black are surrounding you tonight and in their own way, particularly Vossi and, uh, and Simon late, they've polled well again tonight, but it's a formidable midfield, isn't it, that you'll bring with you to Melbourne on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, well, I, they're um, certainly four guys. I think we've got a few other guys you can throw in the mix that have uh, been really good for us as well. So, um, obviously, a lot of guys are just... Um, it's an interesting week in the great journey of life, so we're all... Uh, in this together, so to speak, so we're all looking forward to it, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm still speechless, mate, fitting. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep probing. There's our, the opposition captain, James Hurd. I'm going to keep probing, Jason. What about the journey of life? I saw Megan sitting next to you a moment ago. How important has she been to you over these last two or three years? Oh, yeah, certainly from my point of view, it's been that support that, that you probably need. I mean, most guys could tell you, uh, certainly any player who's uh, been around long enough knows that you really need this. It's not so much the individual, it's the people around them. And I think uh, they're as, as important as, uh, oh, I don't know, the skills you do, is the preparation, the recovery, all that. So I uh, certainly have people like that and her family particularly. Uh, yeah, they, they certainly make my life that, that little bit easier and I'm, I'm proud to sort of be part of that but, um, and to be part of the club as well. Megan's mum and dad are deaf, Gary and Carmel. You send them a message, don't you, after every game? Yeah, I would just, uh, they know what I'm saying, I think. Uh, Do, would you like to send them a message now? Would you like to send them a message now? No, I'll start crying, but... Um, yeah, no, they, they actually were telling me this week that the deaf community actually made up a name for, uh, like a sign for my name, which I thought was hilarious because they said it was too long to spell, so... <laughs> I thought that was funny, but... So, so, so can we hear it? Can we... Can, can you see it? Yeah. Can we see it? I don't it? know if I should be doing this on national television, to be honest. I'll just keep it, keep it at home, I think. What about the handstands, Jason? Where do, they, do they come from the same place? Where, what place is that? Is it the same message? No, no, it's... Um, it, like I said, I, it happened in 99. I, Ronnie Burns and... Uh, i would not, sort of known him. He was he, the week before. He actually actually done a cartwheel and and stuff like that. And he, we played them up here uh, the next week. And uh, anyway, we ended up winning. And uh, I I did this cartwheel or something, and we were all in pretty embarrassed at the time. And I remember thinking, what an idiot. And uh, anyway, the next week the next week we won. And uh, a few of the boys said, go on. I said, oh, I don't know. Anyway, I did it, and as you can see, uh, it's just a bit of fun. Have you, Jason, have you uh, ever kissed the turf at the MCG? No, but I'd, I'd like to taste that, I suppose. Lee loves all these questions, doesn't he? 
Who rode the motorbike? Did anyone ride the motorbike? I mean, you, I know you love your bike, but you can't get it off, Megan. Did either of you ride it tonight to the function, or was that a no-no? No, I couldn't, because I couldn't fit the suit. Oh, like. Oh, it, with my helmet and the glasses, it was terrible, so I said I would just take the car and... Um, <laughs> I was going to stick her on the back, but unfortunately, if you saw a dress, I think everyone... Got